Hi, my name is Steve Boyko. I'm with ModelTrainGeek.com and I want to talk about car cards and operations on your model train layout. So, what are car cards? Car cards are basically a type of paperwork used to track all of the cars that you have on your layout and where they're supposed to go. There are a whole bunch of different systems. But I'm going to show you the system that I'm going to try out soon on my model layout. It starts with a car card which is basically something like this. It is a little pouch that has at the top some details about your car or in this case a locomotive. You can see on the top left it is a CN locomotive. Top right is the number, the type of type of locomotive it is. And then it has a little pouch. And in the little pouch it has a number. This number uh, happens to just be an index number. It doesn't mean a whole lot. And you can tuck things you can tuck things into the pouch. This, these car cards were generated by the Easy Model Railroad Inventory Program, which is a free program that uh, allows you to have a database of all of your rolling stock and locomotives and so forth and uh, track them and print these car cards out. I'll put a link to it on my blog, modeltraingeek.com, to, uh, to show you where to get it. So when you print these car cards, they start out like this. It's just a flat sheet of paper and they come with these handy little fold lines. So it says fold along the above line. So you do that and what you get here is you fold along the above line and you make a pocket and then you run a piece of tape across it and then you end up with this. So you have a little piece of tape that I put around to uh, make the pocket and you can stick things in it. The whole idea is that this pocket contains uh, either could it contain maintenance records for, for the locomotive or for a freight car, it should tell you where you're going to go next. So what I've done is I made a spreadsheet with a bunch of destinations on my layout. And you can see these are the result of that spreadsheet. So for example, this if, when I, if I stick this into a car card pocket, what I'm saying is it needs to go to the Manitoba Pool location in Georgetown. And Georgetown is, is here. And the Manitoba Pool is off in the corner there. There's no elevator yet. Still under construction. And it also shows that it's on CP lines. So for example, this train here, consisting of engine 3665, uh, locomotive 6041, two freight cars, and a caboose, is represented by these car cards with this locomotive card at the front. So you've got the locomotive card. I stuck the caboose in there. The caboose doesn't get its own car card because it doesn't carry anything. It doesn't go anywhere really. It just tags along the train. So here's the Here's the locomotive, this one, and you can see the number at the top, and the card in it says interchange. So it's coming to the interchange at, uh, at between CN and CP here in Georgetown. The next car is the bulkhead flat, this one, bulkhead flat car. What you can see here is, is it is going to interchange. And then after that, it's going to go to the team track in Georgetown on the CP. So it's coming on a CN. CN is going to interchange it with CP here, and then CP will take it from there. The third car is the Three Bay Hopper, this guy. He's going to the UGG Grain Elevator, which is this guy here. So that tells you everything you need to know so that when you drive the train into town, you know what you know what to drop off. Now how do you know what to pick up? Well I made these little pockets that hold the car cards for all the, the uh, cars that are on the layout now. So for example here this is the Irving Oil siding which is right here and there's three, car three cars here. There's AMPX 55, this car, and it says hold, do not move. So nothing's gonna happen there. This one here is CGTX 30280, this one, and it says, has, a, has a card and it says it's going east to Sarnia. And this one here, CP40039, is going to the interchange and then it's going to go west to Calgary, but on CP. So, when the, when the conductor comes to town, he's going to look at all of these pockets and see if there's any of them that have green on them. They have the, if they have the green, yellow, whatever color you want to call that, uh, it, it is to be picked up and taken somewhere. So this one goes east to Sarnia. 
So if he's continuing east, he'd want to take that car. And if he's going west, he want, probably wants to lead it. He can easily spot it to the interchange because the interchange is right here, this track right here. Sorry, this one right here. You can see how it goes up to CP. So he can switch that out. And the same thing for this. He won't do anything with this because the freight house is on CP. Over here, the team track is on CP, so he does nothing with that. The UGG elevator, we've got three cars. All of them need to be picked up east of Thunder Bay because they're going to the big grain elevators on the Great Lakes. So he needs to pick those up. And this one here is for the Manitoba Pool, which is on CP. So he's not going to do anything with that because he's on CM. I really probably should write CN or CP on these things. All I did with these little pockets is I just cut off some envelopes and staple gun them to the edge of my layout for now. Um, there are much better car card pockets of it, holders available. Uh, for example, William Brillinger has some great ones that are laser cut that uh, look really nice. I'll provide a link in the blog post for those. So that's your basic introduction to car cards and uh, my next video I will show you how I operate with them when I shunt this train around. One more thing, I'll show you the Excel spreadsheet that I did. This is how I made those those uh, inserts for the car cards is I put them in uh, Excel by the, the, right, uh, the right height and then printed them out on yellow paper. The height was important. You can see I had two different heights here. This one was too short. You can see the, the height difference between the two. It's too short uh, and what happens is it doesn't cover up the, the word empty car here. So it is no good. So I'll replace them over time uh, with longer ones like these ones that I printed here. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Come visit me, modeltraingeek.com. This is my little sketch of me operating trains and holding a car card. It's probably more hair than I really should have. So, thanks for listening.